So whilst with all these different laptops these days between ultrabooks and gaming grade laptops to notebooks in our case, well that's for a completely separate video, however today we are going to be taking a look at the Samsung Series 9 notebook, stay tuned for more. I've used this notebook for around about mm, give or take two years now and I've actually developed a love-hate relationship with it. Sure when it's not bogged down by unnecessary programs or running things that use 100% of the laptop's resources, that actually runs okay. Of course you're not going to be doing high intensity video, multi-core, RAM, rendering, processor, graphics card. But you know buying it for what you're going to be using it for, which is mainly internet browsing and watching movies, it does these things well and it will do them for the next couple of years. Moving on to the main flagship item in this device, we have a 120GB M SATA SSD which allows really fast boot times and responsive programs, something you just wouldn't get on a regular HDD drive. To be honest I really couldn't go back to a laptop that wasn't using an SSD, mainly because I use an SSD in my main rig and going back to a HDD, well that really wouldn't make sense would it? Going on to the specs of this machine, it uses an AMD quad core processor of up to 1.4GHz, 4GB of RAM, the before spoken of, M SATA 120GB SSD, and an AMD Radeon HD8250 to power the display. And being on the topic of displays, it's actually not that bad. It supports a resolution of 1360 plus 768 it's not Ultra HD, but it actually gets by with what you're going to be using it for. And moving back to the flagship item in this device, we have the 120GB M SATA SSD. It has a sequential read speed of 357MB per second and a sequential write speed of 135.5MB per second. Moving to the aesthetic look of the keyboard, it could have done with a little bit of backlighting, but it's not 100% necessary for the laptop to continue working. Turning to the battery, one of the downsides of this laptop, with me running my Windows 8 partition and using programs that kind of use quite a lot of the laptop's resources, it barely got 5 to 6 hours. Of course, if you just going to be using it for internet browsing, expect a good 6 to 7 hours. Switching to Windows 10 did kind of solve this problem with their battery saver feature, however it only extended the battery life by about an hour. What could this laptop be improved by? Well, AMD makes some okay processors, although they tend to turn systems into space heaters. I would have really liked to see an Intel Core i3, i5 or i7 processor in there, with something a little more than 1.4GHz, maybe going up to 2GHz or even 3GHz. Then again, that's coming from me, and I tend to do a lot of video editing and uh, hardcore use on the laptop, so this view could be a little bit biased. The 4GB of RAM in this system is okay for what most people are going to be using it for, however, keep in mind that Chrome is a really RAM hungry monster sometimes, so if you're going to be opening up a bazillion tabs to hack the internet or break into the CSI databases with your multi-core multi rendering graphics card processor unit RAM thing, then keep that in mind. Having a higher capacity M SATA SSD would also be a bonus, but it's not 100% necessary for this laptop to continue working. Now, wrapping up on this review, this laptop is actually old. It's about two to three years old, so of course Samsung have probably made some infinite changes on this laptop's design. I have actually seen a model with an i7 processor inside of it, but do not quote me on that. Now speaking of improvements, what can I pre-improve on when I'm making these videos? Is it the editing or the way I talk or I talk too fast or I edit too much or I do too much multi-core RAM processing graphics card unit hacking? Let me know in the comment section below, I promise to read it and take it onto consideration and change a couple of things in the next couple of videos that I will be making. That pretty much wraps up the review for the Samsung Series 9 notebook. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the next couple of videos that are going to be released. Until I see you next, have a good day.